Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our sixth lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called sequences and series. So we are looking at our um, seventh example, which is a past case equation tested in 2017, paper 2, question number 23. So the question reads that in part A, the fifth term of an arithmetic progression is 82. So we are told that uh, this is part A. We are told that uh, the fifth term uh, is actually equivalent to, uh, that is, 82. Then uh, we are also further told that uh, the twelfth term is 103. So we are given that the twelfth term of this particular arithmetic progression is given by uh, 103. So we are told to find part A, the first term and the common difference of this particular arithmetic progression. Now, the first thing is to identify the type of um, progression that you are dealing with. Of course, we are told that it is an AP. Therefore, we must use the formulas for the arithmetic progression. So, in the first lesson, we said that uh, the nth term of any given arithmetic progression is given by A, then, of course, plus uh, N minus 1, then you multiply with uh, D. Of course, where A represents the first term and D the common difference. So because in part A, Roman 1, they want us to find the first term and the common difference, we are simply going to form uh, simultaneous equations from this particular uh, given fifth term and also the twelfth term. Then, of course, we solve the two equations. So uh, the fifth term will simply uh, be given by, uh, this will be A, uh, which is the first term, then, of course, plus uh, the value of N will now be 5 because we are talking of the fifth term, then, of course, minus 1. Then we multiply with the common difference. We are told that this particular fifth term is equivalent to a positive 82. So if I open uh, the brackets, I'm going to have uh, A, then of course plus uh, 5 minus 1, I'm going to get positive 4. So this will be 4D uh, being equal to uh, 82. Therefore, this will be uh, my first equation. Then I'm also told that the twelfth term so our twelfth term will be given by A, then of course plus, uh, the number of terms will be 12, that is N will be 12, then of course minus 1, then we multiply with the common difference. We are told that the twelfth term is equivalent to uh, 103, so this one is equals to 103. So if I open the bracket, I'll end up with uh, A, then of course plus, uh, 12 minus uh, 1, I'm going to get positive 11, uh, then multiplied by D, which should give me... Uh, 1 or 3. So this one is equals to 1 or 3. Uh, then uh, from this particular point, of course, uh, I will label this one as my uh, second equation. So this is equation uh, Roman 2. So, of course, these are simultaneous equations. Therefore, uh, they can be solved uh, easily by either using elimination or substitution method. But I think elimination will be appropriate uh, for this particular uh, question. So, if I use elimination uh, method, I'll start by writing the second equation, which is uh, A, then of course plus uh, 11D, uh, which is equals to uh, 103. Then this, uh, the first equation was this one, which is uh, A, then of course plus uh, 4D. Then this one was equivalent to uh, positive 82. So I'm going to subtract uh, these two equations so that I can eliminate the value of A. So of course A minus A. I'm going to get a uh, 0, then plus uh, 11D, then minus 4D. I'm going to get positive 7D being equal to 103 minus 82. I'm going to get positive uh, 21. So if 7D uh, is equal to 21, I'm going to divide through by 7. I also divide through by 7. So 7 and 7 will cancel out. So the value of D will be equivalent to uh, 21 divided by 7. I'm going to get my value of D being equal to a uh, positive 3. Then I'm going to substitute uh, the value of D that I've gotten in my first equation so that I'm going to end up uh, with the following. So I'll say, I'll say substituting, uh, let me use a different ink here. So I'll say substituting, uh, substituting, substituting uh, D is equals to 3. In, uh, let me substitute in the first equation. Uh, in equation one, I'm going to have uh, the following. 
uh, let me separate my working using this particular uh, line here so i'm going to end up with uh, the following that is when i substitute so the first equation was uh, a plus uh, 4d uh, this one was equals to uh, positive 82 but we have the value of d so this will be a then plus 4 into my value of d is positive 3 uh, this one is equal to 82 so this will be a plus uh, 4 multiplied by 3 i'll get positive 12 uh, being equal to 82 then of course uh, the value of a uh, will be equivalent to uh, 82 then of course minus 12 therefore our value of a is going to be equal to a uh, positive 70 so a is equal to positive 70 so remember uh, Roman one they wanted us to find the first term and the common difference therefore we'll say uh, the first term uh, the first term of course which is the value of a will be equivalent to a which of course we have gotten as 70 then the common difference uh, the common uh, difference uh, which is usually uh, the value of d the common difference is d which we have gotten as positive uh, 3 therefore our d is positive 3 and the first term is actually uh, 70 then uh, that was a roman um, 1 so we'll move to a roman 2 uh, so that we can as well uh, solve that so in a roman 2 they want us to compute uh, for the value of uh, that is in roman 2 we are told to find the sum of the first 21 terms the sum of the first 21 terms so in uh, a roman 2 uh, the sum of the first 21 uh, terms this one will uh, simply be given by we know that uh, the sum of terms is given by for ap is given by n over 2 uh, then into uh, 2a then of course plus uh, n minus 1 then you multiply with uh, the common difference therefore the sum of the first uh, 21 terms will just be talking of uh, s21 uh, which will be equal to uh, the number of terms will be 21 then divided by 2 then into brackets uh, 2 multiplied by a a is the first term which we have gotten as a positive uh, 70 so this will be 2 multiplied by 70 then of course plus the number of terms n is 21 so we'll have 21 minus 1 close bracket multiplied by uh, our common difference d was actually positive 3 so this will be uh, that is 21 minus 1 multiplied by 3 then we'll close the bracket so this is going to give us uh, 21 divided by uh, 2 we are going to get positive 10 uh, point 5 so 10.5 then of course into bracket uh, 2 multiplied by 70 will get 140 then i'm going to add 21 minus 1 i'll get 20 so 20 multiplied by uh, 3 i'm going to get positive uh, 60 here so this will be equivalent to a uh, 10.5 then uh, into bracket uh, 140 plus uh, 60 i'm going to get 200 so this will be 200 so when you take uh, 10.5 then you multiply with 200 you are going to get uh, uh, that is 2100 so this will be 2100 so this is the sum of the first 21 terms of this particular uh, arithmetic progression so we are going to move to a uh, part b of our question uh, let's look at part b of the question so in part b uh, we are being told that uh, in part b we are told that uh, a staircase was built as such that each subsequent uh, stairs that is stair has a uniform difference in height this is what we are calling the uh, common difference so the height of the sixth uh, uh, stair uh, from the horizontal floor was 85 so this is actually the sixth term so in part b uh, we are given that uh, the sixth term uh, is equivalent to uh, 85 uh, uh, centimeters and uh, the height of the tenth stair is 145 so we are told that the tenth term is equals to uh, 145 calculate the height of the first stair that is the first term that is what they want and the uniform difference uh, of the height of the stair so they want uh, the value of a and uh, d now we are given that the sixth term is equals to 85 so we know that for any ap uh, the nth term is given by a 
then of course plus n minus 1 then you multiply with the common difference d so our sixth term uh, will be given by we'll take a then of course plus a 6 minus 1 then we multiply with d we are told that the sixth term is equivalent to a positive 85 so this equation will be we'll have a then of course plus 6 minus 1 will get a 5d uh, being equal to a positive 85 being equal to positive 85 then uh, uh, from this particular point I uh, will also form an equation for the tenth term so tenth term uh, will be given by of course it will be a then of course plus 10 minus 1 because the value of n will now be 10 then multiplied by d we are given that the tenth term is 145 so this equation will be a then of course plus 10 minus 1 will get 9 then of course multiplied by d which should give us 145 so this will be our first equation then of course this will be our equation roman 2 so to solve for the values of um, that is uh, the first term a and of course the common difference d again these are simultaneous equations and therefore i can use elimination uh, method so using elimination method i'll start by writing the second equation of course which is a then of course plus 9d uh, which is equivalent to uh, 145 then my first equation was uh, a then of course plus a uh, 5d uh, a plus 5d uh, which is equivalent to positive 85 so i'm going to subtract uh, these two equations so that i can eliminate a so this will be zero then of course a uh, plus a uh, 9d minus 5d i'm going to get a positive a uh, 4d which is equals to 145 minus 85 i'm going to get my answer as positive 60 therefore a uh, 4d uh, is equivalent to 60 i divide through by 4 i also divide through uh, by 4 so 4 and 4 will cancel out and our value of d will be uh, 60 divided by 4 you're going to get a positive 15 then i'll say uh, i want to substitute so i'm simply going to say that um substituting uh let me use a different ink here so i'll say substituting uh substituting uh d is equals to 15 substituting d is equals to 15 in uh equation romana let me substitute in my first equation uh, substituting in equation roman one i'm going to get the following uh, let me clean uh, this area so that we can uh, use it uh, to perform our working so we'll end up with uh, the following so remember our equation one is this one here so we are having um, our first equation was uh, a then of course plus a uh, 5d is equals to 85 so I'll substitute where I have D, I substitute with 15. So this will be A plus uh, 5. Uh, so this will be 5 into bracket uh, 15. This one should give us a positive 85. So this will be A then plus 5 uh, multiplied by uh, 15. We are going to get a positive 75, which should give us 85. Then of course uh, A will be equivalent to uh, 85. Then of course i'll take uh, 75 towards the uh, right hand side so it will be negative 75 therefore our first term will be equivalent to 85 minus 75 we are going to get a positive 10. so we were required to calculate the height of the first staircase uh, so our first uh, staircase our first uh, stair uh, will be given by uh, the value of a of course which is uh, 10. So because the height was um, the height of the calculate the height of the first staircase because the height was being given in centimeters so uh, the height of the first staircase will just be 10 uh, centimeters then you are also required to give the difference of the height of the staircase huh? so the difference uh, the difference will just be equal to the common difference uh, d of course which we have gotten it to be uh, 15. Huh? so our common difference was actually 15 so the difference is 15 uh, centimeters 15 centimeters okay then um, we are going to move to part c of our question so in part c uh, we are being told that uh, in part c they want us to find uh, uh, let me use a different ink here 
So in part C, we are being told that during the construction of the staircase, each step was supported by a, a vertical piece of timber. So if the staircase has 11 stairs, calculate the total length of the timber used. So total length is just the sum of terms. Huh? So they want the, uh, the sum of the first uh, 11 because they are talking of 11 uh, stairs. So we know that Sn for AP is given by N over 2 then into uh, 2a, then of course plus n minus 1, then you multiply with the common difference. So S11, because they are talking of 11 stairs, so this will be S11 will give us uh, 11 over 2, then into bracket 2 multiplied by a. Our first term was uh, 10, so this will be 2 multiplied by 10, then of course plus uh, n is 11, then minus 1, then multiplied with uh, the common difference our d was actually 15 uh, our common difference was uh, 15 then i'll close the bracket so this is uh, going to give us the following so we'll have s11 being equal to 11 over 2 we'll get 5.5 uh, then into bracket 2 multiplied by 10 we'll get positive 20 then plus this will be 11 minus 1 we'll get 10 10 multiplied by 15 will get positive 150. So this will give us 5.5 uh, into bracket. Uh, 20 plus uh, 150 will get 170. Therefore, 5.5 times 170, you are going to get uh, your answer as 935. 935. So we are told that if, um, that is, if um, the staircase has 11 stairs, calculate the total length of the timber used. Therefore, the total length, because the length was being expressed in centimeters, the total length will be uh, 935 centimeters. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly uh, hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. So until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you.